Let's know what's happening. What is going on, Cantaloupes? A lot of people will say that the game is won inside of the trenches, at least football, that is. And there are a lot of great matchups on those corners that are going to happen this NFL season, so I want to prepare you for them. I'm Mike Cantaloupe, and today we present 10 epic wide receiver cornerback duels you must watch in 2018. And a huge shout out to Dominic Parine for suggesting this video. RN? Antonio Brown versus Marshawn Lattimore. Week 16, he's going up against Marshawn Lattimore, who was the 2017 Defensive Rookie of the Year. Uh, he gave Drew Brees a great defense for once, finally. He's consistently shutting down half of the field by himself. Now he gets the biggest challenge of his life, Antonio Brown. Can Marshawn Lattimore do it? Can he stop him? If he can, it might put him up in the territory of the best cornerback in the NFL. Brandon Cooks versus Richard Sherman in week seven and 17. Brandon Cooks is obviously one of the best deep threats in all of football. He's exposed some of the best cornerbacks in the league, Chris Harris, Ramsey, Bouye. Uh, he did it all with the Patriots last year. Now, his biggest talent is really to run deep and get behind defenses. Now he'll have to deal with the 49ers cornerback, Richard Sherman, twice. Sherman has this to prove he has not lost a step. He did rupture his Achilles midseason. Cooks versus Sherman would be a great battle. Uh, Cooks had just four catches for 44 yards in a 2016 matchup between the Seahawks and the Saints when they met last. Let's see if uh, Sherman could still keep him in check. Julio Jones versus Patrick Peterson, week 15. Plenty of meetings between these two stars in the 2016 meeting. Uh, Peterson held him to four catches, 35 yards. That being said, it went the other way around in 2014. 10 catches, 189 yards, and a huge touchdown uh, in that other meeting. Now it's time to settle the score. Both remain at the top of their respective games. Peterson is one of the few players with the physicality that can match with Julio Jones. It's gonna be an epic duo because both of them want to win their series since they essentially split their last two meetings. Larry Fitzgerald versus Chris Harris Jr. Week seven. Fitzgerald continues to dominate in the slot. I mean, he's amazing. Chris Harris Jr. has been great against slot receivers as a nickel cornerback. Uh, Fitzgerald is now 35 years old, three straight years of 100 receptions and 1,000 yards. Harris matches his speed, athleticism, and footwork, but Harris was a little bit off his game at times in 2017. This is uh, kind of a battle. Sure, it's speed versus speed, but more it's kind of mental versus mental in this matchup. Fitzgerald had three catches for 57 yards in a 2014 meeting of the two players. Uh, this is probably the last time we get to see these two superstars face off, so enjoy it. Odell Beckham Jr. versus Josh Norman. Week 8, 2014, Beckham played just four games in 2017. No games versus Norman. Uh, we all remember their 2015 confrontation. A lot of fighting, trash talking, and penalties between the two of them. Beckham had six catches for 107 yards against Norman in week 3 of 2016. Uh, then Beckham was held to five catches for 44 yards in week 17. These two hate each other. They're both big, physical, and nasty. It should be great to watch. Josh Gordon versus Casey Hayward, week six. Uh, Hayward was actually ranked the best corner by Pro Football Focus last year. Uh, Browns receiver Josh Gordon is going to be a fun challenge. Gordon was suspended all of 2015 and missed all of 2016. He returned in 2017 to play five games. He's finally focused and ready to play a full season and they'll have a halfway decent quarterback this time. It will be a great test to see if Josh Gordon is actually a star in this league. Get your popcorn ready. Alshon Jeffrey versus Jalen Ramsey, week eight. Ramsey is the second best graded cornerback from Pro Football Focus. Uh, Ramsey usually shuts down big physical receivers. Jeffrey is that big physical receiver. Alshon is the biggest weapon on Philly's offense. A 50-50 ball would be really, really fun to see. Uh, good thing the game's happening in London. They'll get their money's worth, finally. Are those London games ever good? Adam Thielen and Stefan Diggs versus Aqib Tlaib and Marcus Peters, week four, yes. Double the action, double the fun, must watch. Uh, Thielen Diggs, best wide receiver duo in all of 2017. The Rams defense traded for Akeem Tlaib and Marcus Peters in the offseason. Now they have the best wide receiver tandem versus the best cornerback tandem, and it's on Thursday night. It's a primetime game. Oh, 
man, that is going to be fun. Is the Rams defense going to be molded and, 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 and cohesive enough to be able to fight the best duo in the NFL? Thursday night, Odell Beckham Jr. versus Marshawn Lattimore week four. Yeah, so Odell has a handful of elite cornerback opponents, but Lattimore might be the toughest one yet. Lattimore and Beckham pretty much are about the same size, right? I mean, we talked about it before. Beckham's a big time trash talker, while Lattimore is much more quiet, he just goes and does his job and focuses up. Uh, it can have early playoff implications. I think the contrast of personalities will be really interesting on top of the contrast of their playing ability. Antonio Brown versus AJ Bouye, week 11. Again, um, Antonio Brown is Antonio Brown. AJ Bouye will probably be the one covering him over Jalen Ramsey. They did meet up in 2017 in the divisional round. The Jaguars won that game 45 to 42, but Antonio had seven catches for 132 yards and two touchdowns. Bouye spent the 2018 offseason studying Antonio Brown more. He is motivated to try to shut him down this time. Should probably be one of the best battles of 2018, although I'm looking really very much forward to that uh, Vikings-Rams matchup. Who do you want to watch the most? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button. Look out for Xavier Howard, though. Miami Dolphins cornerback is about to become a shutdown corner. See you later.